Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And we have a bit of a revelation in the whole of the Moroccan Fondler story. This liar, this fraudulent claimer of expenses, has now been uh, basically rejected by his own local council. It's not surprising. He's been rejected by just about everyone now with his constantly changing lies and then blaming his children for his own inadequacies. Everyone sees him for exactly what he is. But the local council have said he should now consider his position and resign. And what's a startling thing is they're saying not just resign as a minister, they're calling on him to resign from politics. Surely now, even Hamza Youssef must be coming to the conclusion that the time is right for him to grow a pair and fire Matheson now. It's amazing how the guy has had the brass neck to remain there, but I think the time is coming for him to go. We'll take a look at the story and see what is happening and see why he even now lacks local support as well as national. He's a fool. Here goes. So Michael Matheson told to resign by Falkirk Council as the SNP administration is humiliatingly defeated in a vote. Now, it is an SNP-run council, but it's a minority SNP-run council. But even so, when you have an SNP-run council saying that Matheson must resign, then you know the jig is up. It must surely be time for him to look and say, OK, enough's enough. I've been caught out trying to thieve from the, you know, from the, from the taxpayer. I've lied. I've lied about my lies. I've lied some more. I keep getting caught out of my lies. Uh, I've been throwing my family under the bus to try and save my career. Um, and now even my local council says, go. In the name of God, go. Was it um, Lady Macbeth, wasn't it? Uh, wait, not on the manner of your departure. Just go. Something like that. I'm misquoting it slightly, I think. But there we are. Uh, the Scottish Government's Health Secretary, uh, and a piss poor job he's making of that as well, is still under huge pressure to quit his role as the £11,000 data roaming bill he tried to steal is not going away just yet. And it never will. We are not dropping this. No matter what other stories come up, we are not dropping this. He is a fraudster. Michael Matheson's local council has urged him to resign, with the SNP's minority administration suffering a humiliating defeat. The health secretary is still under pressure after being accused of lying to MSPs and the people and the press and doing so many times and constantly changing his story because he knows that that lie didn't work. Let's try a different lie. See if that works. That didn't work. Let's try another lie. And eventually he gets caught out on all of them. Uh, it's about how he racked up the £11,000 data bill while on a family holiday in Morocco. We all know that the claims that it was football are probably not true, because if it was, he would have happily handed his uh, iPad over and say, go on, inspect it, you'll only see it's football. But he isn't doing that, and we know why, don't we? We know why, sitting there in a closed Moroccan bedroom, uh, in the hotel, curtains closed, it's mid-afternoon, the wife and kids are down by the pool. He's up having a siesta with his iPad in one hand, something else in the other hand, and he's looking whatever he's looking at, and it ain't gonna be good. He's facing a sleaze probe at the Parliament. Uh, well, I'm not surprised. He is a sleazy individual, isn't he? Uh, for making what they call improper expenses claim. What I call a fraudulent attempt at thieving from the public purse. Uh, and for misusing parliamentary resources. Again, that's a that's a, no, a misnomer. Misusing resources. Thievery. Dishonesty. Um, if found guilty, he could face a sanction such as a suspension from Holyrood. I think he needs to face criminal charges. Attempted fraud. Hamza Yusuf has so far refused to sack his good friend. Oh yeah, I wonder why. Circle jerk it, isn't it? Uh, or that, or, or uh, he knows something about Hamza and he knows that Hamza can't fire him, perhaps. Anyway, instead he's insisting that he's doing a good job looking after Scotland's NHS. If that's a good job looking after the NHS, I'd hate to see what a piss poor job is like. 25,000 people have died on a waiting list while he has been the health minister. That's not a good job. Uh, anyway, this is despite the late stay and e waiting figures being some of the worst since the spring. And it isn't even difficult winter yet, which is on its way. Falkirk Council has backed a motion which pointed out that Mr Matheson's story 
and why he tried to charge the taxpayer £11,000 for data roaming had constantly been changing and called on him to quit politics. So not just resign as a minister, but resign as an MSP, get the hell out of politics and go and do something that a thieving liar could, could be good at. Can't think of what it might be, um, but it's, you know, I'm sure there's someone there that needs a, a shelf stacking. Uh, he hasn't got much by way of um, experience, has he? I mean, I know he's been a politician for a long time, but you can't really call that experience when all you're doing is lying and spinning and failing at every job you've ever had, as well as being caught out with your dishonesty on several accounts. Um, anyway, he tearfully claimed his kids, you know, by tear, holding onion, uh, claimed his kids would watch the Scottish football games using his hotspot and did not tell him until the news broke about the charges. A conveniently very quickly dreamt up um, excuse where he can throw his kids under the bus and make himself look like a complete tosser. But it's also untrue, for if it was true, he would have happily handed his iPad over, as we've mentioned. Not happening. Something on there that he really doesn't want to come out. Uh, but days after they made him aware of what happened, he told the media that the bill had nothing to do with personal use. Again, more lies. More lies. Lies after lies after lies. He later admitted, in, 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 he later admitted it in a parliamentary statement and refused to explain why he had lied continually to journalists, the people, parliament, everybody. The motion was debated by councillors last night and stressed that they had lost confidence in the local MSP as it insisted that the highest level of integrity and trust is required of those who hold elected office. Well, that's him out then. Not a moment or not a jot or a dot of integrity, trust, honesty, nothing. He's a dishonest, lying, thieving bastard who would happily throw his kids to the wolves to try and save his own job. It adds, council notes the significant concerns in the local community and the national community. This guy is representing the country uh, at the issues surrounding Michael Matheson's use of his parliamentary issued iPad. And those concerns have been heightened by his changing account of what happened during the course of his explanations to the media and parliament and changing it several times. Kept looking for the lie that would work. You know, that lie doesn't work. That lie doesn't work. Eventually, there must be a lie that works rather than actually admitting the truth, which of course he dared. Yes, I was there. I was on holiday. I was alone in the apartment, pants around my ankles, you know, knocking one out. Of course, they'd, they'd want to know what he was knocking it out to. And that's where the real trouble, I think, may begin. Uh, an ill-tempered debate broke out at the council as the minority SNP administration rushed to protect their fellow nationalist and tosser. However, they were defeated in the final vote with the Labour motion passing. Well done, Labour. Glasgow, uh, council, sorry, I'm misreading. Councillor Jack Redmond proposed it and said, we owe it to our constituents to tell them the truth the first time, not the third or fourth time under deep media and parliamentary scrutiny. Michael Matheson should not have claimed for his roaming charges on his expenses. His story has constantly been changing. If someone is telling the truth, it remains the same time. It remains the same story every time they tell it. Not like Matheson and his constantly changing lies after lies after lies. Nationalist Council leader Cy uh, Cecil Michael John, I presume it's Michael John, uh, tried to defend her colleague. Uh, Cecil is a lady? I suppose it's Cecile, might be a misspelling. Anyway, uh, tried to defend her colleague and she said, God forbid that any politician makes an honest mistake. Now, I'm going to say, I'm quite happy. We all make mistakes and I'm quite happy to forgive what she describes as an honest mistake. But Matheson did not make a di an honest mistake. He made a dishonest and fraudulent claim, which he then tried to defend by lying and changing his lies and lying some more and changing that lie and lying some more. This wasn't an honest mistake. It was a deliberate attempt to fraudulently get goods and services from the Scottish taxpayer and he knew it. Um, he said, there's a review in this room that might want to reflect on that. And that's fine. We've all made mistakes. Everyone knows. We, we forgive honest mistakes. What you don't forgive is dishonesty, thievery, uh, fraud, lies, more lies, more lies, 
more lies. And certainly, whilst it's nothing to do with us, what he, how he treats his children, the, uh, the, the optics of the way he threw his children under the bus to save his career is appalling. Uh, anyway, the Scottish Parliament corporate body is investigating Mr Matheson and may refer him to the Parliamentary Standards, Procedures and Public Appointments Committee, which would decide on any potential sanctions for him. They need to report him to the police, and they have. But, of course, Dorothy McBain, SNP, sits on the uh, Cabinet, has told the police, no, no, there's nothing to see, move along, don't investigate him, because they don't want the contents of that iPad being investigated and made public, because it would reflect very badly on all of them in the SNP, although we all know exactly what they are, because we all know what the P stands for in SNP. Uh, anyway, it's going to uh, report uh, back next year, it's going to investigate him and hopefully find him guilty and then throw him out of Parliament. He needs to go. He needs to go now. He hasn't got the backing of anyone and we all know exactly what we think of him, apart from being a liar, um, a thief, um, a tosser with his children. Um, there's also the fact that he's probably one of them and we don't know what's on that iPad and I think it's pretty wrong. I think what's on there is disgusting. I'm pretty sure it's degenerate filth. And that's why he's not handing it over. But on top of that, of course, he's really, really shit at his job. Scotland needs better than that. Certainly in terms of performance as health minister, let alone all the other crap that's going on around him and in his private life, which is stopping him from paying attention to the one job he has. Possibly his last ever job. Anyway, I shall stop there, come up, and we will, you know, reflect on whether he should go or not. Of course he should. Coming up. The longer Matheson clings to power, the, um, the worse it's going to get for him. The optics are terrible. He, he, he knows it. He must know it. He must know everyone wants him to go. And yet he's still there, presumably because he needs the money. He needs to keep earning in order to pay back that £11,000. That's maybe why he's hanging on. If I can get a couple of months more salary... That'll help pay the, uh, the, the, the the wank charge that we can start calling it now, I think. Now, politicians always say, you know, when they're prying into our business and trying to impose themselves on what we do and, you know, our, our, um, our secrets and things like that. They always say, if you've got nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. So let's turn that round then. Michael Matheson, if you've got nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. You've already told us it's football on there. Hand over your iPad. And if it is just football, we'll say, well, that's fine. He, he told that. He said it was football. Football it is. And that'll be an end to that. And you can have your iPad back and no one will question it again. The very fact he's not handing his iPad over means that it isn't football. It, it just isn't football. Whatever's on there is pretty bad. It's so bad that he's so embarrassed that he doesn't want anyone to know what he's looking. Now, it could be anything. I mean, it could be, of course, it could be quite legitimate Gentlemen, special interest movies, let's just say. You know, he could have gone to P-Hub and something like that. And that's fine. And if it's all consenting adults, it doesn't matter what it is. And I don't care what flavour it is. You know, if he's into, you know, a bit of gay, something like that. That's fine. That's his business. I don't care. But I don't think it's that. I think it's something way, way worse. And that's why he isn't pushing that forward. That, I think, is undoubtedly the direction that we need to be looking at this man anyway i shall stop there thank you very much for watching this one do please hit the subscribe button definitely hit the like button uh let's get this out there let's show the world what this man truly is and make everybody aware that it is now finally time for him to up sticks and piss off and never be seen in politics again thank you and goodbye <laughs>